Up next, tune in for a glimpse of a signature event in the global business world. Now, we'll take you to GE's Lean Mindset Leadership Summit, happening today in New York City. Um, you know, I'm, I'm so moved by your, your story, and you know, thank you for that. And I, I think that one of my favorite parts about that clip, and I think that's something that we can all kind of learn from, is that you know, even though Jiro is widely regarded as the greatest sushi uh, chef, you know, he admits that perfection is something he strives for, but it's not something that he ever believes that he can attain, nor, nor can anyone, because you know, what is perfection more than an idea? Um, and so I guess, you know, Wolfgang, I want to ask you about, you know, how do you, what is your pursuit as you move forward in your restaurants, and what are you, what are you striving for? Well, I think we all strive to get better. You know, how can we do things better in many different ways? The restaurant business is a very difficult business because you use so many perishables. You know, they stay one day, two days, and then you can't serve it anymore. So how to buy things better, how to get things uh, in our refrigeration or not refrigeration, store them better. And then I think we get a lot of help how to make the business side better, because we can't forget we are in the restaurant business. So I was recently down in Orlando, and I talked with somebody from Seven Rooms, and I said, you know, we have to help the chef and the manager to run the business better, so that way they can actually see what their budget is, obviously it's easy, but what actually the results are against the budget, so that way they know if they have too many people, uh, too much labor cost, or they have too many, uh, uh, too high of a food cost, or liquor cost, or whatever it is, because the margins are very small, so I think we try really to uh, manage the restaurant. You know, great food is great, and I know many great chefs who went bankrupt, who had to close their restaurant because they didn't run it as a business, you know? And to me, that's just as important. And I tell the managers and the chef, yes, we have to be creative, let's take care of the customers because they pay the bills, but we have to run it as a serious business. And a lot of young people like me who started the restaurant uh, cooking when I was 14, I never went to high school or to college. So my mother told me when I left my home at 14, she said, you know, Wolfgang, in life, if you make more money than you spend, you will be okay. So I still try to do the same thing. And you know, as you're, as you're trying to move your uh, team forward, how do you navigate the challenge of your team getting stuck or getting kind of trapped in a pattern? And, and how do you move on? How do you move? Stay tuned to hear more from speakers at GE's Lean Mindset Leadership Summit.